Namaste, I am Wahi, a virtual assistant to help importers and exporters. In this video I will explain how to use Aadhaar eSign for digitally signing applications and documents. So let's start. What is Aadhaar eSign? Aadhaar eSign is an online electronic signature service that facilitates an Aadhaar holder to digitally sign documents or applications on DGFT and other e-platforms. In case you do not have a digital signature certificate, you may choose to use Aadhaar eSign. What are the prerequisites for using Aadhaar eSign? You are required to have an Aadhaar number or virtual ID of your Aadhaar. Your mobile number should be registered with your Aadhaar. Who can sign using Aadhaar virtual ID? All entity types can use the given feature as per the given mapping. Please ensure that your name and year of birth as per PAN matches your name and year of birth on your Aadhaar. For limited companies, director details populated and validated through Ministry of Corporate Affairs, MCA, shall only be allowed to e-sign the application. How to use the Aadhaar e-sign to link the IEC? Enter your PAN, name as per PAN and date of birth for proceeding with e-sign. These details will first be validated with CBDT. Once details are validated with CBDT, the PAN details will be validated with the PAN of signatory in the IEC. If the same matches, user may proceed with the next step. In case of a mismatch the applicant cannot use the Aadhaar e-sign facility. They may update the IEC details using other authentication means to use the C-sign facility in future. After successful validation the user is redirected to Aadhaar portal to validate and e-sign. User is required to enter the Aadhaar number and virtual ID. On submission, the OTP should be available on registered mobile number. Once OTP is validated, the response will match with the name and year of birth as per PAN with the details provided by Aadhaar. Upon successful validation the e-sign process would be completed. Let's do the small demo of Link IEC using Aadhaar eSign. Register first and then log in with valid credentials. Click on Link IEC. Enter IEC number and click on Link IEC. Click OK. Then select Aadhaar eSign. Then enter PAN, name as per PAN and DOB for proceeding with eSign. These details will be validated with CBDT and director's details submitted in IEC. After successful validation the user is redirected to page where user needs to provide consent to use Aadhaar eSign, which can be done by clicking on checkbox and then click on continue button. Then user is redirected to Aadhaar eSign page where user needs to enter Aadhaar number or virtual ID and click on get OTP button. After which user will receive OTP on registered number, enter that OTP and provide your consent and click on submit button. If Aadhaar details are validated successfully then user is redirected to DGFT website with success message and IEC link to his profile. I would like to highlight a few errors which users receive while using Aadhaar eSign. The above message is seen when Aadhaar validation fails because of the name of the signatory in PAN and IEC does not match with the name in Aadhaar database. You may alternatively use a DSC token or make corrections by updating name in PAN at CBDT or in the Aadhaar. This message is seen when Aadhaar validation fails because of the year of birth in signatory PAN and IEC does not match with the year of birth in Aadhaar database. You may alternatively use a DSC token or make corrections by updating year of birth in PAN at CBDT or in the Aadhaar. Any of the above error may be encountered when the Aadhaar e-sign service provided by the third party is not available currently. You may consider waiting for some time. You may also choose to proceed with DSC to sign the application. Thank you for watching.